What's up, everybody? This is Donald Francis. Welcome to Manifest the Thoughts Podcast. We're helping people put their thoughts in perspective. Listen, I want to talk directly to the person that feel they're not good enough. You know how it is. You came up with your brother and your sister, and they just seem to be so much better at life than you are. They maintained a longer job. They got a great job or a career before you got yours. You know, they finished school and got all the credentials, but, you know, you got maybe a GED. And then it seems that that everybody is proud of them more than they are of you. They'll celebrate you, but they'll celebrate them in a great way and show them off to everybody else. You know how it is. You felt like you're not good enough to even get married and or yet get married again because you felt like maybe you weren't tall enough. You weren't short enough. You weren't light skinned. You weren't dark skinned. You weren't wide enough. You weren't slim enough. You know, I found out that love have no shape, no form, no color, no type of anything. Love is what love does. And love is something that will cause you to love somebody with your heart and not with what's inside of your pants. Just want to be real. Sorry about that. However, you know how it is. Sometimes you feel like you're just not good enough. You know, you got that department that you work for. And it seems like that all of your coworkers seem to have a better IQ than you. And you brought your idea to the company only to find out that somebody else came up with a better idea and they worship that one over you. And even your boss sometimes seem to give you tough love and they listen to you, but they're not hearing you. And they're like, okay, but just do the job and do the work and you're doing a good job just to give you a pat on the back, just to get you on out of the way. But then when everyone else come around and they assemble, it seems like that everybody else gravitate to other people other than you and you feel just like not good enough. So I'm reminded of a movie called The Matrix where Morpheus felt that Neo was the one that was going to save Zion. He was so excited he couldn't wait for the Oracle to meet him. And when he finally met the Oracle, the Oracle looked at him and said, yeah, I know Morpheus felt that you are the one, but I'm sorry to tell you, you're not the one. Now, at the end of the day, Neo feels some type of way because Morpheus already hyped him up for him to believe that he is the one by the way he did pull him into the matrix he told him to take either the red pill or the blue pill you know and he took the red pill and and that's what got him into the matrix says i went through all of this all of this rebirth for what just to be told that i'm not the one now awkwardly he walks out of the kitchen to morpheus knowing that he's not the one but the oracle said well before you leave take these three cookies because i know you feel awful about what it was that i told you But when you eat these cookies, I guarantee you by in the morning, you're not going to remember anything that ever taken place. So he walks into the living room where Morpheus is and Morpheus instantly says, don't tell me anything she said, because anything she told you was for you and not for me. And so obviously, for some reason, that's exactly how life have to be in order to bring the best out of you. Can I tell you something? It's not that you're not good enough. Because things that happen then happen to you. Things happen for you in the words of Jay-Z. Sometimes you got to be told the opposite of what you believe so that what you really are can come up out of you. But sometimes your mind can be a very convincing liar because here's the deal. In between your conscious and your subconscious lie paradigm. And your paradigm is all of your doubts all of your your low points all of what you feel you can't do it take over your subconscious mind and will go against your conscious mind for you to now become double-minded and i love the way the bible says a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways so let's talk about how you can get through this and in the words of peter vogue what's not written is not real so what you want to do is write down all of the things that your paradigm tell you all of what you feel you cannot do oh i can't do this oh i'm not good at that i'm not good at this i'm not good at that i can't achieve this i can't achieve that what i want you to do is work on once per month everything you feel you can't do because repetition is the key repetition is the father of all learning and the mother of all mastery the reason why your paradigm have been developed is because of what you see repetitiously in other words the way you've been brought up what you've been brought up in your environment you know whatever it was when you were seven if it was negative then that's what's in your paradigm so now you have to work at 
getting rid of and removing your paradigm by doing everything your paradigm says you can't do. So write down what you feel you can't do and reverse it by working on one thing per month because anything you do for 20, 21 days will now become a part of you. If you feel that this video has given you value, why don't you smash the like button or even subscribe or leave me a comment. And until next time, peace.